Okay, I had this Maximus here. This time with just a little video of these Pro's Kit brand pliers that I found. These are like little hobby pliers. It's a little Home Depot, and I think I've seen them at some craft stores, maybe like Michael's or something. Anyway, I have another video about this brand of tools, and uh, they're really not that great. They're cheapo budget pliers, and uh, to tell you the truth, I'd probably recommend like at least some channel locks, some other brands. Like, you know, these pliers, these little needle nose here, just about brand new, but we can already see quite a bit of wobble. I mean, I have pliers that are decades old that have less wobble in them. Initially, you think they're pretty nice. They have this absolutely massive hot rivet we can see so big, as a matter of fact, that it actually is maybe a little bit of a concern that the material, especially this little cross section here, um, and I've seen that on some pliers where you, when they really get worked, where they break is that the metal actually splits right here and that's just a bit concerning which is such a wide rivet there i'm not exactly sure it's more of a normal size on this side but maybe that was their idea of trying to keep them together not spring loaded these little nippers these little flush cutters and they are indeed pretty flush uh seem to actually have a pretty decent grind i'll give them some credit there but what i won't give them credit for and it's a little hard to see is I'll squeeze them pretty tight and look at that there is like a big old gap in the back of these jaws so they do come together flush right up here at the tip so you know generally they'll work okay and as they wear in maybe it'll come together a little bit more on that side but that's still a bit disappointing to have cutters that are so bad that they don't really cut on the back side never really seen that before and i don't believe it's intentional i believe they just have a lower quality grind on them simple as that so just a short little video today generally don't recommend these little pliers i'm going to end up throwing them in my uh junk toolbox as extras or beaters when it comes to these little pliers there's lots of good quality brands um, but surprisingly enough, the smaller the tool, the bigger the difference small variations in manufacturing quality can make. That's for sure. Like you might say that these pliers have a little bit of wobble. This is, they're like brand new. It'll only go downhill from here. And having flush cutters that start off, at least start off only cutting at the end can be annoying because many times you'll be trying to cut something off down the lower part of the jaws like small pieces of wire using an electronics and uh, they won't cut all the way through and that becomes pretty annoying anyway thanks for watching